Greetings, peeps. Here today doing some cleaning. For those of you that say I never clean my van, I'm about to prove you wrong. Today I have, this is a pressure washer that I've been carrying around for about a year. It's a Humvee Tools WE H1900. It's 1900 PSI, 1.6 gallons per minute pressure washer. And it comes with this wand and it comes with a soap dispenser. It's kind of compact for the size. I mean, a lot of them have the stand up with the handle and stuff, but I like this because it fits in my cargo basket and it does take up quite a bit of space in there, but uh, there's no better way to clean your vehicle, my bike, the mats, all this stuff with a pressure washer. Now this model does support dipping in the input hose into a bucket. And that's why I originally bought it. So I can put, I can put this hose in a five gallon bucket. And as long as the bucket's higher than this, it will draw it in and you can use a bucket to wash your RV or anything else you need to wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and list this on my Amazon page. Since I've had it for a year now and it works pretty good. The only issue I had with it, it was that the nozzle got clogged. There was a piece of dirt in there and then it wasn't, it wasn't working right. I shoved the needle in there, got the piece of dirt out and it's been working fine. So I'll demonstrate it here once I get the water turned on. Like any other pressure washer, you have to bleed the air out of it first. So we're gonna have some air in there for a minute or two. Yeah, still got some air in there. Now the tip, I don't know if you can't really demonstrate this while I'm holding it, but the tip can be changed. You can see the nozzle when I changed it. It sprays wide or it pinpoints. And it gets, it's really powerful at this one. Let's see how far it's shooting. My setup is not the default Road Trek setup. Uh, the default Road Trek setup is just this carpet which I have draped over this dog kennel. It's just this piece of carpet on the fiberglass floor, that's it. You can see how incredibly thin that is. It provides pretty much no insulation, no warmth, no comfort, no noise suppression, no cushioning. So what I do is I have this bed roll that I used for camping many, many years before I got the van. And now I put this on the floor first, then I put the carpet on top of that. And then I do the black mat on top of that. And then, yes, this is gross. This is one month right here. This is how dirty my floor gets in one month because I just cleaned this a month ago. And this is the cat's food thing. And then these are the driver's side mats. I add this rubber mat on top of the, the factory mat just to keep it a little cleaner and provide a little more insulation from road noise and all that. I do a rinse first, get everything wet. And then I use the soap and then I soap everything down, let it soak for a minute or two. And then I go ahead and use the pressure washer to clean everything. And then in, in this temperature and humidity, uh, everything dries in a few hours. Now today I'm actually going to also power wash the e-bike. I did a pretty decent job last time I took it out cleaning it, but you can see all this grime in here all this grime, this grody grime, I can't get out with just Windex and a cloth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a power washer on the wheels and stuff and get that all nice and clean. And no, it's not gonna hurt the motor or anything like that. These things are designed to be watertight. So there's, there, there won't be any water ingress into the motor and you could submerge this actually and it won't get wet. Now the electronics up here, obviously I'm not gonna sp spray those. I got the air conditioner running today. It's staying a nice and chill, 70 degrees in there. And it's gonna be about 104 today, I think. I'm gonna to try to get this stuff done before it gets too late because it's already like about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's definitely in the mid 80s already. So I'm gonna try to get this stuff done, head back into the van, do some editing and the air conditioning. And then when it cools down later tonight, I'll put all this stuff away, put everything back in and I'll be done. Uh, That'll be about it for the van. I've, I've got all the mechanical stuff I want to get done. I got all the cleaning and stuff done. Now there's one last thing that I need to take care of and that is this. I noticed when I, clo when I closed the door, this window popped open and I'm like, what the hell? 
Well, I do have a new winder part that I need to put in, and that won't take very long. I've just been lazy to do it. But with the temperatures the way it is, I definitely want to make sure the windows are good and sealed and tight, nice and tight so that they don't leak any of that nice cool air out. Let me show you guys here a little before and after. That's zero hand scrubbing. I was only using this with water and then soap and then water for a final rinse. This is soaking in some soap. Okay, it's nice and soapy. That dirt coming out. And again, that was a month. I did this a month ago. There's uh, Heidi's floor mats, nice and clean. I got my mats over here, nice and clean. That's nice and clean too. Clean and smelling good. And after I put these, after they dry, I put them back in, I put some essential oils on the carpets. It makes the van smell nice. So contrary to popular belief, it does not smell like cat piss. Ask Heidi. And check it out, I got all that crud off the axles, all the axles in there were packed with dirt from Sedona, red dirt. Like You can still see some of the red dirt on the tire. It was all caked in there, it was caked in the chain, caked in the motor. I got all that out. This actually looks like metal again instead of dirt. So yeah, the pressure washer is great for this kind of stuff where it's really hard to you can't just use a spray bottle. You can't just use like a hand pump. You really need to get some pressure to get in there. It's getting close to 100 degrees. I am done for now until it cools off. I got all my carpets and stuff drying. They're nice and clean. It'll smell good. I'm happy about that. And then we're we'll going up to the mountains here in a couple days and I want everything to be nice and clean and working. That's it for now. Till next time. commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Well, there's a floor mat back in, nice and clean. It should last, oh, 24 to 48 hours before it's filthy again. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Brando Furnine, RV Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.